What's going on everyone? Juicebags here and welcome back to another Chaos One Mastery Build Guide for Dungeon Defenders 2. We are in Dragonfall Bazaar here and we see our mastery challenges are diversity. Complete all phases with 10 or more different defenses. We can't build any barricades and then no defenses can be sold or destroyed. Now we gotta make sure we get 10 of them in here and I know this lane is a little bit of a choke point here. So I am gonna start off right up here and start working out these defenses. Now I am gonna go, well, let me run through all my gear. I'm gonna go with a volcano with power transfer, volcanic shock and vampiric empowerment. Volcano is a tower so it will not uh, fail the no walls situation. However, it does scale very, very nicely with defense health. So going with a totem on it to get the job done there. Then I'm gonna use an oil geyser, deadly strikes, power transfer and oil spill. I really, really should have defense crit strike on this, but I don't have another one. And then we're gonna go with some fissures, deadly strikes, defense critical strike and power transfer. Then we're going to go with a Serpent's Coil, just to get another defense down. Uh, Snaking Sands, Power Transfer, Sandstorm Warrior, Defense Crit Damage. Once again, that would be more effective if, say, I took out Sandstorm Warrior or Defense Crit Damage and put in Defense Crit Strike, but I'm all out of shards. However, the Sand Viper is going to have Power Transfer, Defense Crit Strike, and Split Vipers. And then I may even throw an Obelisk down, just for good measure and really just to give myself a buff. Uh, then we're gonna use some Lightning Strike Auras, Vampiric, Defense Crit Strike, and Power Transfer, Sky Guard Tower, Defense Crit Strike, Power Transfer, and Deadly Strikes, and a Flame Aura, Deadly Strikes, Power Transfer, Defense Critical Strike. Then moving on, we'll probably throw down a little Proton Beam with Defense Crit Strike, Frosty Beams, and Power Transfer, and maybe even a Weapon Manufacturer with defense crit damage. Don't have defense crit strikes on it. I should put one on there though. Deadly strikes and power transfer. So let's uh, start off right here. We've got one tower. There's two. That makes three. Now let's switch on over and we'll go four, five, six and let's throw an obelisk just right up here just for good measure actually let's throw it in the middle of the lane I could have oh no I can't use an obelisk as an obelisk is listed as a wall so let's switch on over to our monk and we'll go let's go with a flame aura a lightning strikes right up front let's get uh, actually let's get a sky guard up here as I don't want to lose that sub objective and how many defenses does this give us? This is really the challenge on the map, is making sure you have the 10 defenses down. We are at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And we need two more defense types. So I think a proton beam and a weapon manufacturer will indeed take care of that. Let's, uh, let's just go something like this. And that proton is actually going to kind of work as a wall for us. Hmm, how do we want to do it here? You know what, let's go like this instead. We'll put... We'll do the double diamond here. Since we do have plenty of mana left, let's get, uh, let's get a few weapon manufacturer nodes in there. And that is our 10. Now from here, you can basically do whatever you want. You can fill out with like flame auras and get the rest of the DU out there. You could, uh, there's a lot of different options basically. I think what I am gonna do is I'm gonna go with, let's do something a little different. Let's grab a poison dart tower. That is not my poison dart tower huntress. Let's go Poison Dart Tower. Let's go ahead and grab another Volcano as well. 
So we can go with a volcano, say right here. Let's get the poison dart tower. I kind of want it to hit the flyers, but I, a little extra lane coverage is not going to hurt my feelings. So let's kind of go like that. That leaves 120 left, and it seems to me that four flame auras would be the way to go there. So let's go... Ah... Uh, See, you can't sell was another one of them, right? Yeah, no defense is sold. So ideally, I would actually like to put that sand trap up here in the R's more. But I can't sell it, so nothing I can do about it. We've got 60 left. Let's go with another one right here. And say one right there for good measure. Now, I can do upgrades, and I do have 300 mana left over. So let's go and upgrade here. Let's get an upgrade into this Poison Dark Tower, the Proton Beam, um, and then let's go ahead and upgrade both those Volcanoes and that Snake, just because we can. Now going with a Totem with Power Transfer and uh, Vampiric Empowerment does make it so it's kind of worth upgrading that Totem. Alright, and here we go. We do have some Flyers coming in right out of the gates, uh, same as the last map. Um, same as every mastery map, I'm going to prioritize flyers over everything else. We also need to be very, very careful here as although the volcano does have nice health, one thing it does not have is any aggro. So mobs will just walk right around it. Now we're getting a little stun out of the deal, which is kind of nice. Um, it adds a little bit of CC for us, although it's not a ton. It's, you know, better than nothing. Or actually, you know what? They actually changed the obelisk back to a tower. So I could have used an obelisk. I should have thrown an obelisk down, maybe. Really just need to focus this lane as I don't want to lose the sub-objective because I can't sell. So if I lose the sub-objective, I'm basically screwed and going to have to start over as uh, I can't sell to rebuild the map properly. I do kind of wish I would have gotten an obelisk down as well, but I'm so used to it being categorized as a uh, as a blockade, so no dice there. Let's keep this proton. Actually, let's give this proton one more, and that way I can kind of ignore that lane a little bit. But let's beef this lane up, because one thing I do not want is anything walking past that volcano. And then that'll leave me a little bit of change for the rest of those guys. Now remember, even though I threw uh, that down just for a 20 DU defense to meet the 10 defense uh, minimum that I'm required on this one, it's, it's still a heal. So if I do get low, I can run over there and uh, hopefully that will save the day for me. More flyers, so we're gonna go ahead and focus those guys down. The Volcanoes and that Poison Dart Tower will help, but they're not going to do the job for you. Save up. Just grab a little bit more mana and then we'll just upgrade that. There we go. It's going pretty smooth. Now, of course, it's only wave two. We got a Quibs over there on the far lane, so you're going to have to pay attention to that. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and get Quibbly burned down here. Alright, Quibbs is getting handled. Piece of cake there. Let's go another one into that Poison Dart Tower. Now, I don't have near as many uh, Defense Critical Strike Shards as I do need. Um, where ideally, I would really prefer to have a Defense Crit Strike Shard on every single tower I have that's doing damage. Uh, however, if you don't have it, you don't have it. And although I do have a few of them out there, I'm not able to get, you know, the full capacity of damage out of them that I would be able to get if I had Defense Crit Strike on there. Uh, the game is definitely heavily weighted towards crit damage. So, of course, Defense Crit Strike is really unnecessary. You can, I mean, I, I would strongly suggest anyone that's going to do any farm, shard farming now, 
if it's not power transfer or deadly strikes, which of course everyone needs, you're definitely going to want to add a few crit strike shards to your inventory just for these mastery challenges. What do we got here? We've got a Griblock and looks like an Ogre. Looks like Gribs is actually coming in kind of quick. I better get Gribs get Gribs handle here. Alright, Gribs is down, piece of cake, and now Ogre time. And Ogre's down as well. Very, very nice. Now, of course, it makes it easy on this one, uh, just like the last map, where we can upgrade and repair. We just can't sell. So, upgrading and repairing is where it's at. As long as you keep everything full and nothing walks by this volcano here, then you will be in good shape. More flyers coming in. Always, always focus down the flyers. That actually, back a long time ago in Dungeon Defenders 2, that was kind of a uh, goes without saying sort of thing. If you didn't, if you just ignored the flyers way back when, you were almost certainly guaranteed a loss. So it's just a good habit to have always paying attention to flyers as they can get sneaky. Uh, particularly in Chaos 7 now with the Kobolds, if your Skyguard gets stunned, of course, the Flyers can just come right on in and have their way with everything. A little bit of a fail jump there. Well, we're getting it done. And here comes Tuscar. I am in trouble. Nope. Oh, God, so lucky there. Tuscar took me all the way down to the end. I'm going to let uh, this Siege Roller run out a little bit and just take this opportunity to collect up some mana here. See, I need, what, 30 more, and I can one-shot him. There we go. And there he goes. Definitely, definitely always watch the mini-map. I should never have let Tuscar get in to where he did there. But, I mean... It does happen. I gotta remember I do not have a wall on that lane. <laughs> See, a couple more ups just for good measure, and let's get it going. With that far lane not having anything at all, so no volcano or whatever in the mix over there, I definitely really, really need to watch that one on the minimap. Back to flyer duty. Alright, flyers look like they're down for now. We do have quite a pack coming in over here. As long as we just keep them burned down, it will be all good. So we've got a Siege Roller. What else do we have? Looks like we got a Tuscar, a Quibbly, and a Siege Roller, perhaps. I want to try not to use any of my mana, that way I'm good to go for the Siege Roller. However, if I go too far over 100, I will spend a little. Alright, Quibbs is coming out, getting, uh, getting his thing going. And those Volcanoes certainly never hurt. Alright, Quib's down. We've got a long way for the roller yet, and he's got a couple mobs stuck behind him. So particularly if you're playing the Nuke Monk, always make sure you kill the mobs behind him first, or you end up with a little Nuke Monk failure. And that will do it for Dragonfall Bazaar. There is five stars on the Chaos 1 Mastery Mode for Dragon Balls. Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball. Dragonfall Bazaar. <laughs> anyway, so thank you once again, and I will see you next time around. Take it easy.